Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Welcome to part two analysis, where we are going to an analyze um, episode 72. So again, if you guys are new here, please subscribe to the Geeky channel, subscribe to my channel, leave a like. If you do like my videos, it's going to help me with the YouTube algorithm and stuff like that. But here's what I can say about this episode. Muna, okay. I think this is the best episode featuring Fidel. Like easily, easily Fidel is the goat here. Sha ang MVP. Impressive. He is really impressive. The fact that he is willing to do everything for Ibarra. Even to the point na kailangan din yung ligtas ng siklay. He was able to save a lot of things here. Okay, for one, again, it's amazing how Fidel was able to handle the situation. Um, I, I already noticed that he was already stalling para to give more time para kay Clay, pati kay, um, kay Elias, kung ano man yung plano nila. And you know, it 100% worked. Because of um, because of what uh, Fidel did, mas lalo lang ano, mas lalo lang um, bumawas ng ebidensya laban kay Ibarra, di ba? But I don't know, by the end of the day, by the end, by the end of the day, kung yung kung yung ni Ibarra sa nobela mismo, I think na yung pwede na mangyari dito sa show na to. But anyways, Again, this is an amazing episode for Fidel. Even though na this has been a dark start. Kung tutusin, we still we were still able to see some Clydell, small Clydell moments here. Which really impressed me. Anahagura dito on how calm he is. And it feels like na parang, parang napun, napunta na rin yata sa Parang naka-encounter na rin yata si Fidel ng ganitong sitwasyon kaya napakakalmado niya. Pero as, nakikita niyo din sa mukha ni Clay on how scared she is. Kasi again, itong mga bagay na to ay, ba, ay bago lang sa kanya, di ba? <laughs> kaya nga nasabi niya, itong mga nangyayari dito so far parang nakikita lang niya sa teleserye pati sa mga movies and now it's happening to her. And the fact na I mean, Fidel was able to be the light that Clay needed on this situation, then I'm just really happy. Pagdating kay Fidel, kung gusto niya man, gusto niya kung gusto niya ligawan si Clay, <laughs> Fidel will need more of these situations right here para may pakita niya yung kagwapuan niya. <laughs> Pagdating kay Clay mismo. Kasi, hey, dagdag po okay po yun talaga yan. You need someone to be really calm in a very hard situation like this. And Fidel has been really consistent about his um uh, about his actions sa scene to. So that is really impressive. Again, easily the best episode that features Fidel. I feel na ito yung mismo, ito yung highlight ng episode na to. Fidel simply being a GOT. One of the greatest of all time. Which is something that I wasn't expecting. Man, look at, look at Barbie Fortes' emotion right here. Yung mukha niya. Kuwang-kuwa niya kung ano itsura ng takot na tao, di ba? And I'm just happy na Fidel was able to give her assurance na he will be safe. But this is something that I wasn't expecting from the show. Hindi ko yun na-expect na si Fidel mismo ay makukulong. Now, I'm afraid. I'm afraid na this might be also the last time na we're going to see Clay and Fidel together sharing the same scene. But hopefully not. Hopefully not. But we'll see. 
Pero dahil sa pagkakulong mismo ni Fidel, man, I feel like, you know what would suck? If sa lahat, kasi, kasi, kasi ganito yan eh, ganito kasi yan eh. In a good story, at least maybe have someone, given the, the themes of the story, given the themes of Noli Mitangari, kung saan, you know, it's very political, injustices, and stuff like that. While we did get to see casualties, gaya si Crispin, gaya si, pwede din si Piroso Potasio, and then even yung taong dilaw, taong dilaw na may hepatitis daw, I do think we need one more character to die here. I think we need one more character to die here. And I feel like Fidel is going to be exactly that character. You heard it first, you guys. Dito nyo na rin again. Feeling ko si Fidel mamatay. And kung bibigyan ko ng percentage to, there's like an 85% chance na mamatay si Fidel sa storya na Noli Mitangare at di na natin siya makikita sa El Filibusterismo part ng Maria Clara at Ibarra. Ayaw mangyari yun, pero it feels na yun ang mangyari. So ito, lahat dinadakip na, makakilala ni Ibarra and stuff like that. Ito, ito, ito ba yung babae na sinasabi na si Pepay? Siya ba ulit ito? May plano ba siya? I don't know. Or, or kamukha lang yung babae na yun from the previous episode. Pero I really love this scene right here. And this we were able to see the the yung yung revolutionist group na grupo nila Lucia pa din Elias and you know in the in the past in the past few episodes sinabi ko na you know what a meaning ng ali i actually basically allies diba and i love um Elias's phrase here ko sana sinabi niya ito maalitap na to ang nagbibigay ng diwanag sa dilim in times of hardship and, and stuff like that. Basically, it confirms na ito mga alitap-tap na to, ginam at pin, kaya naming them Ali, then nasa isip ko, tama pala the whole time, na basically, they are they are allies. Kasi nagpapakita lang sila whenever Clay is in a very, very hard situation, di ba? And if that is the case, I wouldn't be surprised if we are going to see more of the Ali Tap Tops in the future. Especially in El Filibusterismo. Especially in El Filibusterismo. And um, yeah, man, what are the chances na magpapakita pa rin to mga allies ni Clay kapag pagpunta yun mismo sa real world, di ba? So, again, another nice guest appearance na mga Ali Tap Tap dito. Again, um, I feel bad for Maria Clara. I, I just, I still think that Maria Clara it will try to do something, at least para para ya and si Ibarra. I do think she's going to recruit the help of Clay. I'm still not sure, pero there's a chance na pwede pa naman yari yon. Kasi one thing about Maria Clara ay hindi siya, hindi siya para suko, de ba yun nasabi ko sa comment reply. So. I feel that that is the case. Um, but basically, all of them are now in a very tight situation, diba? But also, when you think about it, dal dal din mismo kay Malaklara na punta sa situation na to dahil sa mga letters na binigay mismo ni Malaklara. But at the same time, I also said na Si Mara Clara ay isa lang chess piece. She is the queen pagdating sa chessboard, di ba? And Padre Salvi was the chess player. And you know, Padre Salvi was smart. He is cunning. Blackmailer. He was able to use the queen chess piece, which is, you know, probably the most powerful chess piece sa chessboard. He was able to use the queen, which is Mara Clara, para manalo siya sa kanyang chess game laban kay Ibarra mismo, di ba? And I wonder how Maria Clara 
is going to recover from this. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, for some reason, I feel like Sisa is already at peace in a way. Kasi finally, even though nakita na niya yung kanyang anak, bangkay naman, pero at least nakita niyo isa sa kanyang mga anak, di ba? In some, when you think about it, um, nakalungkot man isipin, pero the fact na nakita na niya finally si Crispin, parang at least nakatulong sa mismong mental health ni Sisa. Now, I'm not a psychologist, clearly. Pero she is now in a way better place since she started having problems with with her mental health, diba? Ever since that episode kung saan huling siya ng Guardia Civil at tanayin nilang tumakas, this is Sisa in her most peaceful state for a long time. And I'm simply happy to see her in this way. I would still want her to be in a way better place, in a way better mindset. Pero from what we are getting, I am happy na Sisa and Clay are sharing a very peaceful moment sa harapan ng malabi ni Crispin. I do hope na mak- ma- I do hope na makita ulit si Sisang kanyang anak which is the other son is Basilio. Pero man, I don't know. I already forgot about the story. But I do know Sisa's fate. I do know everybody else's character's fate in the story, but I just don't know the the my min- the minute details about it. Um and when when it comes to, to this part of the episode right here ang sabi ko na sana at least tumahimik lang si Ibarra stuff like that baka may chance pa makalaya siya pero you know what there's no turning back diba there's no turning back given na sinabi mismo ni Alfares na kung ano na lang sasabihin ni Ibarra yun na yung mismo may fate ni Ibarra then Ibarra uh, Ibarra it was Ibarra's choice to say those words to, to say those words, kaya Alfaris decided to, you know what, Ibarra, mas gugustuhin kong makita kang ma- mamatay sa mga kulungan. And it's sad. It's sad. Hindi ba si Alfaris din, Alfaris din was the very same per- person who told Ibarra about uh, Don Rafael's fate, na nakulong din si Don Rafael mismo. And I think even though na- na- nakulong si Don Rafael, I think it was Alfaris was on Don Rafael's side, diba? It's just sad na nasira ni friendship na meron sa kanilang dalawa. Um, iba rin Alfaris, even though Alfaris is a very, very unique character here where he displays a lot of a, a lot of sides na magugustuhan ng mga viewers and he also displays a, a lot of bad sides kung saan corrupt din siya, and he is also a wife beater, diba? And again, it's just sad to see their friendship broke. Pero, you know what? What Ibarra said to Alfares here is something that Alfares needs to hear by the end of the day. But was it the right time to tell him those words? I think it wasn't. I think it was not. I think there was a better time to tell those words to him. Pero you know what? Ibarra already set his future here. Ibarra already set his future here. But yeah, just a, just a small episode. Um, what do you guys think about, about this episode? Again, subscribe to the Giga channel if you still haven't. Kung bago kayo dito for more of these analysis videos sa Manaktara Tibara. And also leave a like. Uh, at the same time, um, thank you for watching you guys. And again, you guys take care. Goodbye and God bless.